In this video, we are going to be optimizing a plan for export from Chief Architect Desktop Software for an import into the Chief Architect Mobile 3D Viewer. Here I have the Brecken Ridge model, which is available for download on our website. And export a plan into the Chief Architect 3D Viewer. We're just going to go to File, Export, Export Chief Architect 3D Viewer File. Next, we will be asked to provide our Chief Architect account login credentials. Use the login credentials that you have for accessing your digital locker, software downloads, and product keys. Next, we can give our plan a new name if we're unhappy with the current name and the description. Below we have information about our surface count and texture size. This information is important because it determines how the plan will perform on your mobile device. Plans with a higher surface count and texture size may not perform as well if your mobile device is on the weaker side of our system requirements which are available on our website. An ideal plan will have a surface count no more than 500,000 and a texture size of 50 megabytes or less. So what we're going to do is turn off layers and symbols in order to minimize this surface count and texture size. So we're just going to go ahead and cancel out of this. Good symbol layers to turn off are those with a lot of curved surfaces as they increase the surface count and layers that are not essential to your design. So let's start by taking a look at this car and I'm going to press spacebar and then select it and I'm going to open this symbol for editing and here we have information about our symbol but the piece of information I am most concerned about is the number of faces so we can see that this car has nearly 35,000 surface faces so this would be a good layer to turn off so we're just going to go ahead and press cancel and then we have our active layer display options open and we're just going to uncheck the display of this layer Next, let's take a look at our 3D plants. This plant has nearly 10,000 surface faces, and we have quite a bit of these plants throughout our design, so this would be another good symbol to turn off. So I'm going to continue doing this for a couple other plants throughout our design. And because we really don't have a backyard, we can go ahead and delete the terrain and the fence as well. And then we're going to turn off our driveway too. Next, let's move to some of the furniture of our plant. This patio set is just an accessory, so we can go in and turn off this symbol layer as well. We have furniture in nearly every single room in our plan, and individually they may not contribute to a lot of services, but together they account for quite a bit of surfaces and texture size, so let's go ahead and turn these layers off. And now let's take a look at our surface count and texture size. The number of surfaces we have is nearly below 500,000 and our texture size is looking really good at this point. So let's continue to turn off a few more layers. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. And I'm going to go ahead and go up to our select objects just one more time. And for this model, we do not need to see our framing once it's on the mobile 3D viewer, so let's go ahead and turn off some of our framing layers that are currently displayed. And we're going to go ahead and turn off our floor trusses, our roof rafters, and we don't have any exposed rafters. If we did, we would keep this layer on, but for this plan, we can go ahead and turn it off. And then our wall framing. And now let's take one more look at our surface count. So now our surface count and our texture size is at a desirable level and we can go ahead and continue exporting it and then import it into the Chief Architect Mobile 3D Viewer, which is covered in another video.